Hey everyone, welcome back to another high quality foodie feature for you here on the channel, where this time I'm headed into Jack in the Box because it's fish season. And not only is their standard fish sandwich back on the menu, it looks like they've got a double filet variant available as well. That's right, so stay tuned because the deluxe fish sandwich is up next. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. Hi, what can I get for you? Yeah, Peep This Out, can I just go for that deluxe fish sandwich by itself and that's it? Yourself? You got it. Any drinks, any dinner? Oh no, that's it. Okay, 657, thank you. Great, thanks a lot. All right, so this is my first time trying the fish over here at Jack in the Box, and I'm doubling up on it. I'm glad you guys are here along for the ride with me. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Uh, you have a deluxe fish sandwich? Yeah. Or you call it 657. Awesome, thank you. Excellent, appreciate it. So, quick question Is this one a pretty sizable sandwich? Does it look like the picture? Is it pretty big? Yeah. Cool, cool. Looking forward. They almost never look like the poster, but we're about to find out. Would you like any condiments? Oh no, it's fine. Thank you. All right, appreciate it. Stay frosty. We'll see you. <laughs> bye bye. All right, guys. Let's peep this out. So is this going to look like the poster? Well, you tell me. Feast your eyes on the all-new deluxe fish sandwich here at Jack in the Box. And aside from the bun looking a little small, maybe a little bit more squished, I think it looks pretty close. So starting off with the obvious, what we're supposed to have here is a fresh buttery bun, although it does look a little on the crack side on the top there. Underneath it, however, it looks like we've got a dollop of some tartar sauce and some shredded lettuce. And underneath that, I'm a little scared by the amount of tomato on this, guys. Two large slices of tomato action right there. Underneath it, there's the first of the two 100% wild-caught Alaskan Pollock fish fillets that are coated in panko breadcrumbs, and I gotta admit, they're looking pretty tasty there. Separated with two slices of American cheese, as you can see, there's the second patty right there, not too bad. Underneath it, we've got more of that tartar sauce action. But guys, so far, it looks fairly close to the poster as far as I'm concerned, aside from the bun being a little on the smaller side. And again, I'm a little afraid with the amount of tomato on this one, guys. I mean, I'm okay with doubling up on the fish. Obviously, that's one of the main reasons I wanted to do it, naturally, but two slices of tomato? I don't know, let's just give this a shot. Here we go with the deluxe fish sandwich. My first time trying the fish here at Jack in the Box. Let's do it. Mmm. 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 Mm-mm. Mmm-mm. No. No, 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 no. Sorry. Definitely sorry. No bueno on the tomato. You know, I guess it's a testament to how fresh that tomato is because it was ultra wet, ultra slimy, and the outer skin, no bueno on that first bite. But the flavor of the fish is pretty good so far, and I'll give you a close-up in just a second. But so far, I'm glad I got the double because there's some denseness to it, and I'm liking that. Let me keep going in. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm glad I got the fish sandwich diaper on the back of this one because there is plenty of tartar sauce coming out the back of this here, guys. There's a lot more than I thought there was going to be. After that initial close-up, anyway, there's definitely more to be had. But honestly, the cheese I'm kind of tasting as well, and it's not too bad. It's kind of keeping those patties together, and I am really digging that. I think that's the main purpose of it, since it's not on the one, but just a single patty by itself. But so far, the flakiness of the fish is on point, and I am really digging this so far. Yeah, definitely digging this so far, guys. And just to show you real quick in the back here again, plenty of tartar sauce flying out the back. So I'm glad that they wrapped this one. And again, I really love the presentation so far. This is pretty good for fast food fish. I guess I'm kind of being slowly converted over because the quality of what I've had so far has been pretty good. Let's keep going in. Hmm. yeah, definitely good. Yeah, I'm really digging the coating so far on this, guys. I mean, it's not nearly as breaded as I thought it was going to be, and the fish itself is pretty plentiful, especially when you've gotten the double on here. It's flaky, it's got a little bit of juiciness to it as well, it's not dry. And again, the cheese I'm kind of tasting, which is kind of a cool thing. So, so far, guys, a very, very nice outing over here at Jack in the Box. Let's go in for another bite and I'll give you another close-up, but pretty solid. Yeah, I like looking at the inside of this one, guys. I am definitely digging the flakiness of that fish and the overall breading. And I have to admit again, the height that it's got is pretty nice. I only wish the bun was just a little bit fresher. That's the only thing. This does feel as it gets a little on the staler side, I gotta be honest. You can kind of tell by the amount of cracks on this one. But guys, honestly, aside from that, very nice quality of the fish so far. And overall, the tartar sauce has got a nice amount of creaminess as well. Lovely situation. So yeah, I like it. And the fact that I have this choice available from Jack in the Box now, aside from the Cajun flounder that they have over at Popeye's, this is actually a very nice season of Lent starting off for me here right now, guys. Some pretty nice fast food items that you can get in terms of fish. This is actually up there with it. And again, you should do the double because it's got some denseness, some hardiness, and it really is the way to go. Just my personal opinion. All right, so let's go for one more bite in on this one. We'll finish this one up after the rating, but guys, this is obviously gonna be scored highly because it's super fresh, the quality is pretty solid, and for a fast food product, this is actually not bad. Let's go for another bite. 
All right, one more quickie shot of this one just to finish it out. And as you can see, a lovely situation in the fish department, guys. The double is absolutely worth the upgrade. And obviously the cheese I can kind of taste as well. Not too bad with the overall fried coating and an easy recommendation. Definitely give this one a shot and please do the double. I think you know that by now, right? Order on Uber Eats, Postmates, and Grubhub. So with that said, I'm going to have to give the all-new deluxe fish sandwich here at Jack in the Box my first time trying their fish. They're pretty rock solid, 9 out of 10. The only thing keeping us away from that 10 spot, and as you can probably guess by now, it's going to be the freshness of that bun, which really wasn't there for me. But everything else was pretty much on point, guys. The light flakiness of the fish itself, the fact that it wasn't heavily breaded on top of it, and I can taste everything pretty nicely with that creamy tartar sauce, minus the tomato, of course, a beautiful situation. A high recommendation to give this one a go. All right, so now the obvious question, are you going to be giving this one a go? If you've got Jack in the Box in the area and you've had the fish sandwich before in the past, is it one of your favorites? And if you've never had it, is the double going to be on your hit list? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Yeah, guys, color me surprised. I'm actually digging fast food fish lately. Not bad. All right, everyone, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of my reviews. But just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.